Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode, where in this video we're going to learn what Chrome extension content scripts are and how to work with them. So content scripts are scripts that are ran in the context of web pages. This allows them to interact with the DOM, and because they can interact with the DOM, they can do things such as change the style of a web page, add more content to a web page, etc. So for example here, we can see we have a Chrome extension that simply when you click it, it changes the background color of websites to red. And let me uh, get rid of this flashing red now. And now something that makes content scripts cool too is that they run in their own private environment. And this isolates them from the web page and other extensions. This ultimately leads to better security and stability for extensions as they don't override each other or interact with each other. However, as content scripts work in the context of a web page, there are certain Chrome APIs that they cannot interact with directly. The Chrome APIs that they can work with directly are the runtime, so chrome.runtime, the storage API, and the i18n API. And so there are multiple ways to include a content script in an extension. One way is to include them statically. Static content scripts are simply scripts that are declared inside the manifest.json file. So inside here, let me just paste a simple configuration. Specifically, static scripts go under the key content scripts as an array. This content scripts key here takes an array of content script objects, like this one right here, and these objects can be uniquely configured to run on different domains, load different files, etc. So for example here, we are saying the file blog.js will be run on blog.wiko.com. Specifically, this blog.js content script will be ran every time a page within the domain https blogwiko.com is loaded. So simply put, Static content scripts are ran every time pages provided to the matches key, so this one here, are loaded. And there's actually more configuration we can do with a static content script than just these two here. But specifically, so matches here specifies the web page that the content script is ran against. This is a required field. JS is a list of JavaScript files injected into the pages listed in matches. We can also have CSS which is a list of CSS files injected into the pages also listed in matches. And we can have as well run at, which specifies when the script is injected into the page. But so let's get rid of this for now. Um, we'll work with those later. But as a demonstration, let's create this, let's work with this blog.js script file. So in here, and let's use the script to change the body color of blog.witcode.com to purple which we can easily do with this code here. And now I'm gonna to go to Chrome extensions, and inside here, I'm gonna choose load unpacked, and I'm just gonna select this file, or this folder. And now we have my content script. Let's also pin it. And now if we navigate over, so let's go to blog.wetgo.com, and if we navigate to this website, we can see now the background color is purple. And now let's change the color to red by using an external CSS file. So first, let's add the location of this CSS file to our manifest file. So open up this. Let's add CSS, and now let's create this location actually. So we're gonna have a styles folder, and inside this, blog.css. And let's create a class called my background color, set it to red. And now in our content script, let's add this class to the document body, so just like this. And now let's reload this extension, go back to this website, refresh, and we can now see that the text, or the background color of the body is red. But so this, these, what we just did are called static content scripts because they're defined inside this key content scripts in manifest.json. Now we can also load a content script dynamically using the Chrome scripting API. And the Chrome scripting API is used to execute scripts in different contexts. This allows us to have more control over when our content scripts are injected as it is decided at runtime. To use the scripting API, we first need to add it to our manifest.json permission. So inside here, let's add some permissions, and one of them is scripting. So specifically what we need to do is get permission from the host, and we also want active tab because we want to get the permission from the host or active tab we want to run the script against. But so unlike content scripts, the Chrome scripting API is used inside a service worker and not in the web page. And so because of this, we need to add a service worker to our manifest.json file. So Chrome service workers like this right here are an extension's central event handler, and they respond to events such as closing a tab, network calls, things like that. And now, what we want to do with this scripting API is we want to use it to inject a content script when the Chrome extension icon is clicked. Before doing this, 
we actually need to add another key to our manifest.json called action. And the action key allows us to configure the extensions icon. So this up here, we can use the chrome.action API, which this gives us access to, to listen for a click event on the icon. When it's clicked, what we specifically want to do is execute our content script. So inside our service worker, which is this here, paste in this code. And what this code says is that when we click the Chrome extension icon, it'll execute this script on the current tab. And specifically the script it's gonna execute is our blog.js. However, now that we're doing this dynamically, let's also remove this from inside here as we're gonna be using it dynamically now. And let's also, this has no access now to this CSS class. So let's actually just change this to say color. Let's set it equal to purple this time. And now let's just go back to our extension page. We want to reload it in here with the new configuration. And now let's try, let's say example.com. We click our icon, it turns purple. If we say go to GitHub here, let's click this and we get purple. And so one thing I want to mention before I end this video is that note that the path supplied to files here is relative to the root of the extension and the root of the extension is essentially where our manifest.json file is. And this target key here is the target to inject the content script into. And setting it to tab.id will inject it into the current tab. But this is my video on content scripts. Essentially, they just give Chrome extension access to the DOM of a web page. If you want to support me, please consider downloading my extension called Witceptor on from the Chrome extension store. And besides that, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.